What's up, True Feelings family? I am back, and I am back with another video, and I'm back in San Diego with my mama here with me, y'all. So I'm back. I have no idea what my schedule is going to be like. Things are just, you know, kind of up in the air, but I'm back trying to get caught up with the last two episodes. I may miss some shit, but just let's just go on for what I remember. I was only able to watch it once. Let's start off with Marcelino and Britney's uh, return ass. I'm so sick of their asses. And what I can't understand is what? Daddy. So now they're coming back with the whole storyline is his ass didn't want to be in Vegas. He'd rather be, um, I'm sorry, didn't want to be in Florida. He'd rather be in Vegas where he can make some gambling money. And my thought to that is you got four fucking children, right? Three, four, you got children. It's time for you to get a regular ass job, Marcelino, and stop banking your money on gambling gambling but here's the other thing i don't understand why he feels so pressured to sit there and apologize and have to work so hard to regain britney's love didn't you see her sleeping with shrek she was in a bed with a whole nother woman didn't you see that shit she's the one who introduced you to her friend to have sex with so i don't see why he working so hard to get her back she should be working hard to get him back because to me she did worse shit than he did. How much more do you want, Brittany? We didn't see him in bed with nobody, but we did see her in bed with somebody. But all I can say is, she wants him to love her. Who gives a shit, Brittany? Brittany and Marcelino, please just go away. Don't nobody give a shit about your storyline or you guys anymore. We want you to be happily married, but we just don't give a shit about you guys. You keep coming back too much. We don't care. I want you to look at me and feel like you're my everything. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to get through to all the assholes that I just don't care about. And let's go to Chance and um, Taylor. Now, last week they went to see, I don't know, was it a financial person? And he done spilled his guts about being a gambling. He has a gambling addiction, okay? He ain't cheating on nobody so far, but he got a gambling addiction. So when he's spending all his money, he's spending his money on cigarettes. And at noon time, he go to the casino and spend his money on gambling. Now, I can almost believe that storyline because I had a cousin did 20 years, married baby just like them, got out, and he fucking had a gambling problem. And now his ass is back in prison so what i say to that is good for you taylor don't you put him on any of your shit in fact here's the thing about taylor and the bills being two months three months late she was taking care of all that shit while his ass was in prison knowing the way he deals with money now i'm not understanding why the hell she let him be responsible for paying her mortgage because that's her house his name ain't on that house and for paying her bills for her kids to have a place to sleep so i don't understand why she put all that shit over to chance special this is when i started calling bullshit on a storyline okay when his ass was in the shower taking a shower and all of a sudden his phone is there for taylor to get we know damn well when he first came on that phone was not leaving his hip when you under some grimy shit like he is you ain't gonna leave your phone out for your woman to automatically just see and now she's seeing pictures of females and shit she's seeing a bunch of shit that i just didn't believe then she take a shit out there and she put it on fire she just never seen as upset as i would really like her to do like throw a can at the back of his fucking head that's what i'd like to see so i didn't believe in all of that for the fear of that um because Who's going to leave their phone out with all the little secrets he's trying to keep? He wouldn't do that. All of a sudden, that's the night he chose to leave his phone out for her to go through. That was a BS scene, but we just going to move on from there. And before we go on, congratulations on the baby. Now, Bobby done brought her ass back. Now remember I told you, I don't give a shit what she trying to get away from. She wanted to leave so she can go be clean and do whatever. But like I said before, I was an addict from 90 to 97 shooting dope in my arm. So it's like you can't hide from yourself. I don't give a shit where you go. If you want to get high, you're going to get high. So then when she brought her ass back, Chan said the same thing. He said, I don't know if she's sleepy uh, from driving. I don't know if she high on weed. I've been a heroin addict. I, I was. She was high, okay? She it even looks like she could be sober. She was high. Her eyes, her demeanor, her voice. And I said that. I said, I think that girl is on something. She don't seem normal. Like her speech, none of it seemed normal to me. So she backed down here with the bullshit. When Chan said, well, baby, she tired from driving. I said, well, she fucking said she just moved down the street. So she can't be too tired from driving. You know what I'm saying? 
I just got to keep an eye on her. So now this fool done had a baby, and now, and now his ass don't have a job, okay? His ass got laid off. So he probably ain't got no savings. He ain't got nothing going on, going around asking his friends for jobs and shit. I need some work, Dad. Now, Taylor don't know any of this. Now, Taylor done called her sister Bobby because she wanted to vent on their financials, how hard it is to be with the kids and the babies and all this shit in Bobby's sober life. Bobby would have had her ass because she lived down the street, right? She would have came up there. Bobby is high. Bobby's response was like, she didn't even give a shit. She was like, yeah, okay, I told you not to be with this motherfucker anyway. So whatever you're going through, you just have to deal with it. I ain't coming over there because I'm too busy getting high. I don't need to deal with your shit. Got my own problem. Sarah and Okay, here's the problem I have with Sarah. Now, you know she done went over there and introduced that baby to her pappy, her real pappy, who she said had not been around her father since she was a baby. Been around her father a couple of times. Now, we know damn well when she went to meet his ass at that damn park, that little girl was too comfortable. Most kids that age, they're not comfortable when you say, hey, let's go off and play. They don't do that. So, I think they bullshitting about that. I really do because the little girl was too comfortable. Now, the problem I had with uh, Sarah's bitch ass is when she went back to the house, here you got Sean. He done put a hot tub inside the living room. We don't damn where they got a patio. Baby upstairs. Little girl at home. Why would you even set up a romantical time with your woman when you got the kids at home? That just shit didn't make sense. And it made more no sense with the damn hot tub in the living room when they got a patio. Did that make sense to anybody? Did that make sense to anybody? Didn't make sense to anybody but fucking them. It really did. It's like, what you gonna do? You might as well let that little girl get into this My shit. issue is, why have your daughter lie on your behalf, um, girl? The fact that she had that little girl lie to Sean because she uh, didn't want him to know that she's been hanging out with the daddy and the daddy's been hanging out with the mom and all this shit. I'm like, that's not for her. Why are you gonna put all that on the little girl's little mind to lie for you? That pissed me off. So now Sean is trying to feel some kind of way about the lie that she's telling that he don't know about yet that he's done plenty of times to her when it came to destiny and other shit, you know. He was good at withholding information. So he's just getting the taste of his own medicine that's exactly what he is getting the taste of his own medicine but here's the thing with her if you wasn't trying to have anything going on with your baby's daddy because you said the sex was good why hide it there was no need to hide it but am i mad at her doing it no because sean has did it done it plenty of times to her so it don't matter but here's the thing sean she 27 she 42 and she almost, I think she getting tired of you. And if homeboy come in and step it up, she going to leave your punk ass. She is. She going to leave your ass and leave you with another child support payment. That's what the fuck she going to leave you with, sir. And um, rightfully so. She probably should. Because I just don't like you, Sean. Um, and now that you're getting a taste of your own medicine, it don't feel good. It don't feel good to withhold information. Do it. And I just said I don't give a shit about blame. And um, what's her name, Lindsay? I just don't care. But I can say his church slash rehab uh, NA meeting because that what that was it was a church slash NA meeting, and it was all about Blaine and what he'd been through in his past uh, trauma that he had in his life. I can appreciate him getting up there doing that. I felt like that was a real feeling, a real emotion. I can get that. But what are the, the you know? But we know it was bullshit when he walked up there and he's like, okay. I, Lindsay left. I don't know where she's at. The mother, the daughter, neither one of them was like, um, worried. Like, they just both seem like, no, we haven't seen her. In real life, with Lindsay's past behavior, they would have been a little bit more worried than she pops her ass up in the church. I just don't give a shit about Lindsay and Blaine. And don't give a fuck. I wish they punk asses would just go away. I really do. I just fast forward the shit and stop to just listen to Blaine tell his little inmate story. That's it. Other than that, I didn't give two fucks. <laughs> Justine and Michael, they lazy with their storyline. They make sure that it's set up and that it's easy. We like, why is that $12,000? 
all knew that when he got that $12,000 out to buy her another engagement ring, that she was going to find out about that shit looking through the account. According to him, he couldn't put the shit back fast enough. But here's the problem. Don't blame him for you quitting your job. You did that shit on your own, okay? That's what you wanted to do. You wanted to stay home. Now she tell him, I feel more like a maid. And that's what you wanted me to do is be home being a maid. He's like, you doing the job you supposed to do. Then he hurried up to clean that shit up. He's like, and, and so am I. I'm doing the job I'm supposed to be doing too. I'm like, yeah, you's about to fuck up and get into an argument with that one, sir. Yeah. Now he feel like he done leveled her up. He told her, I made you a boss. So why you complaining about I done made you a boss. You don't even have to work anymore. You making money while we just sitting here doing shit, okay? So don't worry about it. I'm like, mm -mm, I wouldn't quit my damn job. Not just yet. I wouldn't quit my job. But she ain't got nothing to complain about. If you guys got a joint account and there's money in that account, um, yes, he should tell you about shit. But it's a surprise. At this point, I wouldn't want to deal and argue with this motherfucker and, and just, you know, I don't know, child. I don't know. I'm not him. Like I said, they got set up scenes and set up stories. So they take their ass to Vegas, okay? And Justine, stop following that boy around like a fucking puppy dog. Why you want to make things harder for this man as he's trying to phase back into his career and be a rap rapper at 35? First of all, he ain't got no damn business trying to be a rapper at 35 years old. He can get some other entrepreneurship type of shit going on. But ain't nobody give a fuck about no 35-year-old rapper. You see, don't nobody give a shit about Jay-Z. That should be something to think about, sir. I don't even know why you're in Vegas, bro. So they get their ass to the studio. Mocha just paid her no mind at all didn't even say hi was annoyed that he was there very cold, hi. like i said justine should have just if you trust your man fall back but see she don't trust her man and that's why she can't fall back and let him get out there and do what he need to do now mocha is all over the place with his ass he's like first of all ain't nobody fucking gonna be working around with you trying to be a daddy uh married rapper you talking about you want to have more kids how you gonna do a career and do all that how you gonna do it and how justine gonna deal with that just sitting at home because that's what the hell she gonna have to do when she have that baby unless she gonna have a nanny running around Okay, he's like, you need to get your shit together before, like, you can't be telling people you're married. Once you get your shit together, then we can do that. But right now, you got promotions, you got travel. He's going to have a lot of shit to do trying to be a 35-year-old rapper. I, I just really think you need to do something else, sir. I really do. But there's another couple that I really don't give two shits about and would like them to go away to. There's so many things I don't want to hear right now. Is it me? I feel like ever since after that fight, the story, the love after lockup has just been like, it ain't that, like, I, I can't wait to see it on Friday. Now I'm back to not giving a shit that is coming on on Fridays. Everything done kind of simmered down a little bit. Am I the puppy only one feeling that way? Who shit about them? Man? Puppy finally done did what I hope she would do. It's like, if if uh, Amber's over there with her dude, go over there and move over there with Queenie. So she done took her ass and moved over there with Queenie. And that's where she would stay. But I, should stay. But I got a feeling she gonna call that little dumbass Eric and try to go back to him because she's feeling some kind of way. Because she's in love with him. Puppy is not over Eric. I'm like, why? He's fucking his wife. So, and and still wife. It's not an ex or nothing. That's his wife. So I think you need to let that go, it, puppy. Get a job. Be your own woman. Get your own money and stop relying on people to always help you out of shit. Because since she's been on that show, it's been help puppy out of a fucking puppy mill. And that's what it's been. Helping puppy out of puppy mills. It's time for you to stand on your own two feet, girl, and get your shit together, okay? It's been damn near two, three years since you've been out. You should be somewhere where uh your, your little friend is amber she, you should be somewhere but you're too busy letting this man control your life okay control your own life don't let anyone have that much control over you that's for everybody i'm talking to don't ever let a man or woman have that much control over you where you can't do shit don't do that i've been there don't do it not there today and will never be back there i do feel like she's gonna go back eris and cameron Here's my problem with Eris. 
Aaron thinks she done found that fucking ring from Lord of the Rings. And when she put it on his finger, it's going to give him some magical powers to be a husband and a father and go out there and get a job the same damn day. He done been in Florida for damn three days. Three days, three days. She sent him out to go find a job and he went to a studio that is his job. Okay, so that's what he went to do. The problem is they have bad communication problems. He don't tell her shit. He don't answer her calls. He's doing what he was doing before he had a wife and a child. That ring does not make him a husband and a father. It's not magic, Eris. I need you to understand that ring is not magic. Let me, let me bounce around, get my feet wet. Now, my other question is, this boy sat there and talked to her best friend who was an ex-CEO and told her he's never had a job before. So what type of employment is he searching for? Uh, dishwasher? Uh, janitor like what what can he do did you guys even get his resume together okay what can he do Aries? what can he do and is it different in Florida where you can go out and actually look for a job and there's signs like help wanted because here in California San Diego we don't do that you got to get on the internet to look for a job so I don't understand why he walked out the door to go job searching when all you got to do is get on the computer to look for a job because it ain't like it used to be like I said correct me if I'm wrong if it's different in Florida and they got help wanted signs up that's now, all I'm Cameron was wrong for not answering his phone and doing that shit. Like if I'm calling you, you 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 need to answer your phone. So I get that. But the problem with errors that I have is when a person walks away, she likes to walk behind them and get all up in their face and shit. I don't like when she's when when that happens. At the end of the day, I tell everybody, if you got a problem with your fucking mate, because I had one with mine last week, you kind of pissed me off, and you know what I did, because I didn't have nothing nice to say, and I knew the next thing that was coming out my mouth was going to be some disrespect or fucked up shit, because I already had in my mind what I was going to say, so I walked away and then talked to him for about three, four hours. I needed that, because every hour I felt like I had more shit to the shit that I wanted to say. So it's just best, when you get into shit, just walk away and let it simmer down because then you gonna just just let it go simmer down because it's not gonna be it's, it's not gonna be good after that so that's the problem I have with them so the next morning um, they get up and they're finally having a conversation that where they're communicating without acting a fool and that's what you need to do so they have some level of understanding but what he did he went out there and called his sister and he thought his sister was going to have his back and his sister was like you know you need to go in there and apologize to her yes you just been there for like three days and yes your rap is your job but at the end of the day you're a husband now you need to get like a real job and get some real money coming in because some bills didn't stop that mortgage didn't stop you gotta get your ass up there and get out you got married you made a commitment so get out there and do what you got to do cameron that's what you're supposed to do you wanted to do that's you a husband now you got a magical ring on so that's what she expect you to do you should have a job by next week by the time we see you next week you should have a whole ass job, job and here's the thing about cameron cameron still have so much growing to do like he told her he didn't think he did anything wrong because to him his rap is his job what you did wrong Cameron is you should have let her know I'm going to the studio and work on some hits what you did wrong Cameron was when she's calling you you need to answer the phone or at least check your messages after you get out that booth and check in with your wife that's what you're supposed to do but like I said that ring is not magic and it's not going to automatically turn him to this perfect husband and, and, and father for her child it's just not that's not how it works he has so much growing to do but what I like about Cameron is he's willing to try he's willing to try so I'm going to give him props on that he's willing to try so far check a page, check a page, check a page. and we just going to end this video with Derek and Monique y'all because I just wanted to catch up and try to just get on track just a little bit um, so now he's making plans to go to Chicago to visit Monique. Now he done called his PO or told her that his PO approved his shit. Didn't it, isn't that what he said? I think that's what he said. Their story is all always all over the place. So he go tell grandma he going to Chicago and um, see Monique and he's going to propose to her. Now grandma's all good for it, but she just want to make sure this is what you want to do, right? Not just for a day's show. Well, then his little old friends pick him up. Now here's the thing. 
he wasn't even approved for it, but yet he bought a plane ticket and, and packed his shit and he is on his way to Chicago, but still didn't have the approval because he got that damn phone call and it was like, you can't go. And I'm sitting there thinking, I think this is a production thing where they flipped it so it'll look all razzle dazzled and shit because there's no way he would have packed all this shit. You know, it's just bullshit. I feel like their story is coming along to turn it into shit. They done been on all their little interviews and shit. Now, I hope, Derek and Monique, you getting your money from your interviews, that they paying you at least what we TV is paying you. Because I can guarantee you, any YouTuber interview you, interviewing you got paid more than what um, we TV is paying you. I'm positive. fucking positive of it so i hope you got a little bit of money from all these interviews you're doing and get your money do what you need to do because baby when it's ava it's bloody ava yeah straight like that <laughs> all right y'all that's it i just wanted to check in with my true feelings family just to let you know i am back don't know how shit gonna go because you know i'm taking care of my mom but i am back um have you guys been watching the new show on um TLC seeking brother husband or the woman is now having more than one husband. But those husbands cannot have any other partners. I feel like this is really selfish. I have two husbands who love me. I don't know if I'm going to review that shit or not. Because like I said, I don't know where shit lies. But tell, let me know if you guys are watching it. And if you want me to at least try to attempt to do some other shit. Anyway, you guys. It's nice to be back and talking to you guys and back in my casa. Don't be an asshole. I'll see you guys. I don't know when. <laughs> I really don't know when. I'm going to try to, you know, like I said, everything has kind of changed for me again. But I'll try to be back this weekend. I'm going to do my best. If you don't see me this weekend, I'll try to come back Monday. But I'm going to try to work things out as things, you know, like I said, my life is restructured <laughs> once again. So I don't know. Don't be an asshole. Bye, y'all. Stay focused. Go forward.